So I'm down here in Ring's Kitty right now, and I'm looking for three species of native snails. One is the, um, the lined top shell, or the common top shell, one is the purple top shell, and one is the dog whelk. So we're doing a research project um, for ecostructure that's looking at the distribution of these different types of snails, and we're using genetics to try to understand whether or not artificial structures like piers and rock groins and seawalls are, are being used to sort of connect to these different populations. And this is especially interesting because as the climate changes, we see species um, essentially moving their ranges northwards. So we're trying to understand whether or not they can use these artificial structures to move as the temperature warms. We're looking at um, lots of different sites around the Irish Sea on both the, the Irish and the Welsh coasts. Um, so that's sort of ranging north from Dublin all the way down here in Cork. And then in Wales, we're looking um, as well down from Pembrokeshire all the way up to the north coast of, of the species ranges. And so here in Ireland, between Dublin and Wexford, there seems to be uh, less rocky shore natural habitat. Um, but of course we see more and more artificial structures cropping up. And in Wales, the north coast of the country of Wales, I guess, um, is also very sandy and less natural rocky habitat. So, um, but there's tons of wind turbines and rock groins and things like that along the coast there. So we want to see what species are living there, um, whether or not they're using artificial habitats, and whether or not they're actually, they have viable populations there that they can use to, to move around and potentially move northwards with climate change. Thank you.